Oh yeah, let's talk about the security problems with large language models, and any models really. So Safe Tensors was developed by Hugging Face, largely because people were using Pickle to take machine learning models that they had trained and translate them into a file they could send to someone else. There are quite a few problems with Pickle files. Largely, it's literally just code. It's code that you send somewhere else and, and then it runs automatically, right? And so there's just, there's problems with running untested, uh, untrusted code. There's a lot of ways to exploit pickle files, right? Here is a tool that will allow you to create malicious pickle files. So we use safe tensors because they don't contain code. Instead, it's just like a really fast way to take the model from, you know, on your computer in memory and save it to a file so you can send it somewhere else. There is another type of format that you see pretty commonly called GGuff. Usually when somebody takes a model and quantizes that model, which basically is like a, a loss of precision, but not a loss of intelligence. It's really just like, it, it has a less good vocabulary, but still understands the same thing. GGuff allows us to like radically reduce the memory overhead, right? But there's problems with it. Uh, the Databricks team has uh, actually filed quite a few CVEs, like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So you can read more uh, if you just search for this uh, specific words. All in all, I still recommend using GGuff. You just want to get it from a trusted source and check your file hashes to make sure that you haven't been man in the middle attacked. The Bloke on Hugging Face and Bartoski on Hugging Face are pretty trustworthy names in the uh, people who take safe tensors and turn them into GGuff files uh, world. Outside of that, you don't know these people uh, and you don't know what they're doing with the stuff. Bartoski, I think, works on, um, you know, uh, curating models for LM Studio. And the bloke uh, translates stuff, I think, usually uh, funded by a, an accelerator here in Silicon Valley. Generally, they're pretty well known and I've never had problems and also people talk about them a lot because they are usually the first people to write a GGuff uh, version of the model. But yeah, any models that are in a safe tensors file, you can't like poison them, you can't put code in them that will run and break the computer. They're pretty safe. That's why they call them that. So. And a number of security researchers have collaborated with Hugging Face to ensure that, yes, safe tensors are safe to use and ready to be the default. That's why DeepSeek can't do anything to your computer and people who say, well, if you download the model, it does something. It doesn't. Like, you're using safe tensors, it doesn't run code.